believe that's a giant grizzly bear. Look at the size of the head on that thing. He's a huge mythical. He's about 150 yards out and we're gonna be taking him down with the 4570. We're back out here on the Yukon Valley for the first time in a couple of months. Now I know what you're thinking, why all of a sudden now did we decide to come back to the Yukon Valley? Well, it's because it's working now and we're gonna be trying out the lever action rifles. Now what I plan on doing is basically every day or every other day we're going to use something different that we don't typically use. If there's a couple different variants of whatever weapon we're using, for instance like the 4570 and the 3030, then one day we'll use the 4570, another day we'll use the 3030. Uh, in this case here we got a decent fox coming in, he's about 50 yards out coming pretty much right to us perfectly. We'll use the 3030 Whitlock and I think he'll come out to like right here should put him at about 25 yards out which will be pretty much perfect all right here we go and he's down kind of came in trotting pretty fast but we had to hold a little bit of lead on him and uh, we definitely made it count so our first fox down with the lever action rifle and it's gonna be a 9.4 which didn't quite make gold but didn't miss by much either and we made a nice left lung and a heart shot at 22 yards out got a pretty decent bull caribou over there about 350 yards out we're gonna have to get quite a bit closer but we're gonna work our way over there see if we can't get into range and take down this nice bull with the 4570 I have no clue where that big four went. We came all the way over here and I thought he'd be right here drinking with these guys, but he's not. He's nowhere to be found. So we're going to take down this nice level three instead. He's about 80 yards now and if that four jumps up, we'll be ready for him. All right, that shot looked really good and I bet the four. That's not a four, that's a moose. I thought that was going to be him. I honestly have no clue where that four went. But one thing I do know is we got our first bull down with the 4570 lever action rifle right here. And let's take a look at him. The thing is that four wasn't really goal potential anyways. He was a decent one, but he probably would have been like a 260 or 270s. Look what we just found. That's the other big four that we were looking for. He's 150 yards out. Let's actually just hold a little bit high. Oh, I don't want to take that shot. We're going to be patient and we're going to let him come right past us here. And if he does that, he should come out within about 50 yards, which is going to be ideal for this shot. All right, here he comes. He's roughly about 115 right there. So at any point now, we can take the shot. Got to get him to slow down a little bit. Well... I think we smoked him. <laughs> All right, he's down right there. That worked out pretty good. We took a shot on the trot. I had to hold kind of far in front of him because we had to compensate for his walk there. And I think we held just right because he didn't go very far at all. He is goal potential, but I also just saw another massive bull off to the right side over here. Who's going to make this thing look tiny. Either way, this is still a pretty solid bull. 301 so yeah still nowhere near being a gold but nice double lung in fact a perfect double lung shot on the walk at 66 yards now that right there is definitely the big bull i'm talking about look at the size of the rack on that thing <laughs> oh wow he is massive he's pretty impressive he's about 120 yards out right there in a huge herd of caribou so we got to be careful not to hit the wrong one but we're gonna go prone and I think we might be able to take the shot from right about here if I can get on him good enough yeah 100 yards we could definitely do that but if that was him right there we could take the shot which it might be him I can't get a spotting on him but is that his body or is there a different one there okay there he is there he is come on turn broadside Move your butt. Oh, I want to go for it so bad, but I can't. I, I can't. We can't risk it, guys. There's no way I'm going to mess up that shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we messed it up. But I think we saved it. Come on, go down. Come on. 
He turned when we took the shot. Oh, he messed up. Look at the rack. Oh, intestines. Are you kidding me? 333, he would have been a nice gold. But because that first shot he turned, the second shot caught right behind the lung. And we hit far back and got intestine. But he's still a beautiful bull. 333.10. Okay, guys, you're probably wondering why we messed up that shot so much. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be real with you. And I thought today I wasn't going to have any espresso or coffee or anything like that. And, well... <laughs> That goes to show you what happens when you don't have coffee. You can't think right sometimes. <laughs> At least I can't. So I'm going to have an espresso and then we'll continue on with the hunt. Ah, I feel so much better. All right, let's do this. Holy, that's a giant grizzly bear. Look at the size of the head on that thing. He's a huge mythical. He's about 150 yards out and we're going to be taking him down with the 4570. Well, it's a good thing we took our espresso because I told you, now we're ready to rock and roll. And not only that, I think it gave us some pretty good luck too because this is literally the first animal that we've seen since we messed up that last shot on that caribou. But I think what we're gonna do is go prone and try and get as close as we can, which should put us at somewhere around about 100 yards. And we're gonna crouch up and that should get him to turn broadside. We're going to take the shot. All right, we got him about 100 yards out right there. All he's got to do now is turn broadside and we can take the shot. Come on, big grizzly. You know you see us. Come on. What is he doing? At about 115 yards out, I held right for the heart. Squeeze the trigger and timber. What an awesome shot and what a massive mythical grizzly bear. Let's go take a look. It was kind of funny because we stood up to get his attention and uh, all of a sudden he started walking closer towards us and I thought, wait a second, what's he doing? And then he stood up and that's when I knew it's game time. Oh, what a heck of a shot. Just crumbled him. Man, is he a beast of a grizzly bear. Look at that thing. Wow, look at the size of the claws on that thing. Let's have a look. Holy, he's going to be a massive one. 64.8. We made a perfect heart shot at 105 yards away. And he weighed 1,257 pounds. Wow. Wow. Take a look at that shot though. Looks like we hit right on top of the heart and hit the left lung. Pretty much a perfect shot. And now you guys can see what happens when I have an espresso. I wasn't kidding. We're just approaching the 100 yard mark from this massive bull right here. In fact, that's definitely going to be the one that we want. We don't quite have a shot. We almost do, but not quite. So if we can slide over just a tad bit more. And when that small cow in the front puts her head down, I do think we could probably squeeze one in there and catch lung and shoulder. And after that, we should be able to get this massive bull as well. We'll hold for a kind of low lung heart shot and hopefully we can get him as well. But for now, our main priority is to get this massive bull down. All right, guys, I think this is going to be it here. We're 90 yards out and we could possibly sneak it in there and hit the heart. All we got to do is wait for her to move her head. I can't. 
We already messed up a shot once. There's no way I'm going to do it again. We got to slide over just a tad bit more. The problem is, it's not that we can't see the shoulder enough. It's that we can't quite see low enough. I don't want to hit high shoulder. I want to hit low shoulder. Because then we should be able to bust through and get vitals. If we hit high shoulder, then we might just get shoulder. And that's not what we want. All right, let's see what we're dealing with from here. Much better. Yes! We got him! Perfect shot! Perfect shot! Oh, I don't even know where the other big bull went. <laughs> what a heck of a shot! Man, that was right on the money. Absolute perfect precision right there. Wow. I was holding it just barely above that cow's neck. And when I squeezed the trigger, I was hoping we wouldn't hit that cow because if she would even flinched at that time, we probably would have hit her somewhere. <laughs> but when I looked and I saw one crumble, I knew we got the big bull. And here he comes floating right over to us, just as pretty as a picture. Look at that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, bull. And we should probably take a picture because that's pretty cool. Wow. All right, let's pick him up. There it is, a perfect double long hard shot at 86 yards out and a 317 gold bull caribou down right there. Wow. What an epic bull and what an epic shot placement there. Right on the money. Got double lung shoulder and heart. You see what I mean by holding low on that shoulder? The shoulder blade is really thick up here, but as it gets lower, um, as you get lower, the shoulder blade gets a little bit more narrow and weaker. And that is where you want to be to be able to bust through and get some penetration. And you know what? It's actually been a little while since we've gotten a big bull caribou like this. We did get a couple diamonds, but no big fours. You know, it's very, it's very difficult to get a big four lately. And since this guy looks really cool, I love the tops on him. We're going to get him mounted. Guess what we have right there? Guess what we have right there coming in? That's the other big bull. Come on. Not exactly what I had in mind. But... Oh. All right, come on. Smoked him. He is not going far. In fact, if you look right there, I do believe that should be our bull down about 150 yards away. So he probably ran uh, roughly like 50 yards, which is not much. But unfortunately for this one, we're going to have to go all the way around to get to him. He's not going to float over like the last one did for us. And uh, that was pretty nice of him, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so what's kind of odd here is we should have level two hunting pressure. And I guess that maybe could be level two. But to me, it seems like level one. So it's really difficult to tell um, whether or not we made a good shot on this one. And had I not been able to see him piled up there, then I wouldn't know that we got him. What are you, medium? Well, that's not super impressive. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not super impressive either. Either way, we saw him laying right there and here he is. So potentially we got intestine. I don't know. But here he is. Another massive bull. Now nah, we smoked him. 94 yards and made a beautiful shot. Perfect shot, actually. Um, but he wasn't quite big enough to be a gold. So in fact, we definitely did take down the biggest bull of the two. And now we technically doubled up. Anyways, with that, that's going to pretty much wrap up this hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoy our new style of hunting. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.